Layla, Annie, Fernandez, it's true what they say. Good things come in small packages. When you see this young woman in an interview, you're not thinking that she's an absolute savage on the court, but that's exactly what she is. And today, we're going to be reviewing her serve. We're going to analyze her serve, which is 100% amazing. Uh, I love it. There's so many uh, awesome things about her serve. And so let's get right into this video. At the end of the video, too, if you're interested in improving your serve, I'm going to give you a free serve course because it is such an important part of tennis. All right, so first of all, let's, let's just really break down everything that this new superstar is doing. I love the kind of rhythm. I like this. I like how she's got all her weight on her front foot. So you can clearly see that. You can see that the back leg, the back toe is, is, is just relaxed and she's got all her weight on the front foot. So this is going to create a nice rocking motion because whenever you're going to hit anything hard with power and force in sports, a baseball swing, a punch, a forehand, a backhand, and of course a serve, you want to go backwards before you go forward. You, you, you load and you explode. So her weight on the front foot, what she's doing is she's getting ready to rock back. So you can see she's got a nice rock back. Now all the weight is going to the back leg. And here's another thing, a nice wide base. And what's interesting, you can look it up. I did a video review. In fact, after this video, I'll, I'll put it up there for you guys to where you can choose to watch it. I did uh, a, a serve review of Brooksby, who had a good match against Novak, but I, I said that his serve is way, way below where it should be for a guy 6'4". Layla, the opposite. She's got a great serve, especially for her size. And here's one di difference right here. She's got this nice wide base. Okay, so look at the back leg. Look at the amount of space. A lot of people just miss this when they go to do their serve. They do not get themselves in this nice wide base that Layla's in. So we can see that there's plenty of space from the back foot and the front foot. Okay, so this is going to help her get great rotation, a great load and explode into the ball. We can see here, too, another thing that I love, and you can always tell when they're a good server, is look at how her racket face is facing up. So this is going to help her get a lot of nice spin rotation on the ball. Just another little subtle thing. I like that the racket face is open. Uh, you can see a lot of amateur players, when they go to serve, you can tell that they're not great servers because they actually face their racket face on top of the ball and that lets me know they're in the wrong grip. Okay, so as we continue on with our serve, look at this. Oh my goodness, I love this. I talk about this all the time. Again, if there's something that I know, if you're watching this video, I can pretty much predict that you don't get this tossing arm up as straight and even coming back like Layla. And what I like to tell people, as they do this move, and you can kind of see Layla do this, you want to pretend that you are a marionette, that you're a puppet with those strings, and that your wrist and your hip, they're connected by a string, okay? You want to pretend that they're connected by a string. And as... You start to move your hand up. It's pulling your hip with it. See that? It's pulling it up with it. They work together, as you can see her start to do here. So she's starting to really push forward into the court. That hip coming over the baseline just a little bit. Get her momentum ready to go. And... You can see that now she's getting into about a 60-40 to where she's going to have about 60% of her weight on the front foot, but she's not going to forget about her back foot. You can see she's still loading up on the back leg as well, and that's another thing that, that people get wrong is that they 
sometimes put too much weight on the front foot. We can see, I, I love how her racket right now, she's getting into a power L position. The racket face is getting into the secret power source. If there's one little thing that I would like her to improve to get even bigger serve, we're going to talk about that in a second. She can hold the secret power source a little longer. Now she steps up. So some people, they say, hey, you should be in a platform stance and just kind of jump from there, kind of like Roger Federer or Pete Sampras. Other people like you to step up. And I'm either way. There, you know, Goran Ivanisevic, there's been so many, Pat Rafter, there's been so many great servers who step up. There's been so many great servers who don't step up. So I, I, I think you could go either way on this. But I do love it how she uses this for momentum. This She's got a great, beautiful rhythm with this step-up move. And she steps up correctly. Notice how she steps up into the front foot. Lots of people will lose a lot of power because they'll step out here. They'll bring their back foot up here. But no, not Layla because she is just looking so amazing right now. Look at this coil. She's loaded up. As I said before, we can see by her stance that even though we're not at the back fence right now at the U.S. Open, you can see that her chest would basically be facing back to the fence. Okay, so she's got a great setup right here. Look at this. I like to call this the tilt. And I complain again that not enough of my students get deep into the tilt. Can you get much deeper into the tilt than this? No, you cannot. This is this is maxing out the tilt. And and so this is going to help her coil. And watch this. One of the most impressive jumps into the ball. Look at that athleticism. Look at how high she is off of the ground. It's incredible. And this is where she's coming up on edge. The way her racket is right now. Right, where her racket butt is basically facing up to the sky. I like to call this the hatchet move. Again, not enough people get into this position. So she's basically going to be throwing her edge, the edge of her racket right here, up to the tennis ball. And so we're about to see that. And then it's not to the last frame. See, that hatchet's coming around. Again, now if we close up on this racket we can see that the edge is going up to the tennis ball and then let's watch right there just in this one move it always is so tough to catch on camera frame by frame because they're moving so fast this is very very tough to catch see boom it happens right there now her racket is facing to the ball so it goes from impossible to hit the ball to this move right here, I like to call this the thumbnail in. And what I mean by that, the thumbnail is basically looking at her. Her thumbnail is still looking at her if she's to look up at her thumbnail. And then right here, which could be called a pronation move, she throws the thumbnail out and away. Out and away. And another thing that I love is her balance and rotation, coiling. A lot of great servers do this, I notice. Is she tucks, she does a tuck with her opposite hand, right? Her opposite arm tucks under, and just look at that, folks. Oh, my gosh. And then she lands. The landing may be a little bit off balance because she's landing this way rather than into the court. I think that can improve a tad, but it is an impressive, folks. This is an impressive serve. And finally, what I'll just say here is if she could improve one thing, if she could hold the secret power source, which she's in right here with the racket tip leading forward, if she could hold that just a tad longer, she see, because what you want is you want the racket drop. Rick Macy talks about this, who coached Serena and Venus and Andy Roddick, maybe one of the greatest servers of all time. Not maybe one of the greatest servers of all time. He might actually be the greatest server of all time. He says, you should not go into your racket drop. Drop the racket to the opposite side of the hitting side 
until your legs drive up. So right now we can see her legs are still coiled down, and they're still, but she's starting to think about going up, but we can see that the racket has come to the opposite side of her skull right now. So if she could hold that even a little longer and still be over here at this point and not start to go into the racket drop until she does this, the leg drive. So we can see as she gets ready to go into the leg drive how far her racket has already committed on the opposite side of her body. She's losing a little bit of power there. A little bit of power there. So what's amazing about this serve is it's huge, it's great for her size, it's amazing, it's a weapon, but she can even get it better. And she probably will because you can tell after she lost, she's like, I want to win the right trophy next year. And that's what you know. Roger had, Rafa has, Novak has, is, is the drive to keep adding and getting better to your game. So, you know, Maybe she'll she'll pick up that, and that'll be a subtle change in her serve next year, make it even that much better. But amazing stuff from Layla. Uh, I'm going to put right here, up up in the uh, card section. If you'd like, you can click on it, and you get a free serve course called Serving A to Z, where it teaches you everything about the serve. Uh, the stance, the, the the how to get your toss under control, how to hit a slice serve, how to hit a kick serve, 33 free videos. When we're talking about a free course, I'm not just talking about handing over two or three videos to you. 100% free, 33 videos. Check it out in the card section, in the description box, and I'll even have uh, two videos uh, for you. Um, one is of Brooksby serving. You know, I'm going to leave you three videos. Brooksby serving. Emma, oh, I love Emma, her forehand, and the next video you see is going to be my Serving A to Z course. So make sure you check those out on the way out. Make sure, please, 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 guys, I thought this is a pretty good video. Make sure you like it up. And if you don't want to miss any more, because I'll be covering a lot more of Emma and of Layla and of uh, Mevedev and all kinds of the players who are making big moves right now. Subscribe so you don't miss my next video. See you guys. Uh, keep playing. Keep loving the game.